Follow the bouncing ball here. French occupy Tobago from 1783 to 1791. Britain takes back Tobago in 1791 only to have to give it back in 1802 under the Treaty of Amiens only to recapture it again in 1803. Let me talk about it. This is Amiens, France, and this is the location where the treaty was signed. Now, it was signed by two parties. You see, even though the treaty was being signed by Britain and France, it would have far-reaching impact across all of Europe. So the Netherlands, Spain, all of these other countries would be affected by this treaty. First up for Mary Old England and the Union Jack, we have Marques Cornwallis. He was selected to represent the United Kingdom as an ambassador, Pliny Potentiary. All that means is that he had far-reaching power over and above a regular ambassador, like he could make decisions on the spot as they come up when he represented England. That, that's all that means. Now, Dole Cornwallis size fool you. He was a career military man, but he was also a Lord Lieutenant of Ireland, as well as the Governor General of Bengal, right? So, it was feel that he would be a better choice, you know, and they was trying to impress Napoleon, because, you know, Napoleon was a warmonger anyway. So, you know, that's why he was chosen. Now, we head over to the French side. Shouting Vive la France, we have none other than the brother of Napoleon, Joseph Bonaparte. He was proposed by France to negotiate the treaty because he had previously negotiated another treaty, the Treaty of Looneyville. That one was signed also in France um, and it was between France and Austria in 1801. In the beginning, Britain was on some, uh, I go return everything that I take, excepting... Sri Lanka, Malta, Guadeloupe, Martinique, Trinidad, and Tobago. No, it's not Trinidad and Tobago at this point, right? Trinidad and Tobago were two separate islands living their own life, living their own colonial lives, right? But it's important to know that Trinidad was actually under the Spanish until the British took them. So there was kind of vex about that, right? Spain was, a, Spain was a little hot about that. Right, so Britain was like, we're going to keep them there and give up everything else. And you, France, had to return Egypt to Turkey. France was on some, no, eh? we are not going to do that. Here, what are we going to do? You could keep Bengal, not Bengal, Mysore, India, and we could keep Egypt. In the end, Britain decided that they would keep Ceylon, which is Sri Lanka, and Trinidad, and basically give up everything else, including Tobago. But of course, they captured Tobago one year later after the treaty was signed. Now, the treaty represented like a year of general peace, the only year of general peace from the time of 1793 to 1814. Follow for